kuwa kumanyira ebisiwe vyoina Ukaleta kwe kwasa kwasa, letse, nga school fees Ukamanya wangu mwana, oine kukora, ukataho mutima Nuku wabazele wakatunga school fees Then, ino kutatuntura Hagwa watu vezi mjo viherezo kwa wabazele wakubali wakuha Nuku kuhavura Sometimes ito ya wabayuko ni kituara wiko kutumu Kakuna ni wabali wakuha amagezi kwa kusogora kwe yangu Thing. Jesus asks of us that go into the world and proclaim the good news and let little children come to me. Do not stop them. But how do we do this? In this parish, Charusozi, we find a way of how we can bring the younger people together and have an annual conference. But we found out that in this parish there are so many youth groups, those scattered, how the Kizaveri movements, the Junior Legionary of Mary and other various over 10 groups in this parish. So our focus was to make a youth conference that could bring the youth together. But how would we do this? That's how we talked of a family, Bishop Macaulay Youth Family, that would bring the youth together and share their values from their different spiritualities and different founders, like the Xavier movements, both from their spirituality, both from the region of Mary, both from the Eucharistic ministers and of the Eucharistia and all groups together. So we have had, this is our second annual conference under the theme of faith. And we have a three-year program. The first year, we are trying to look at, are the youth there? Do we have the youth in the Catholic Church? So we made a conference aiming at talent show. Can we discover the talents of the youth? So that's the conference we had last year, which collected over a thousand youth in this Charusozi Holy Cross Catholic Parish, and was really successful. So uh, among the achievements from the last conference up to now, uh, we are proud to have the youth who love their church, they can identify with the church. We discovered the youth are there, and we declared a year of faith. So we have moved from the sub-parishes, trying to teach the youth about faith. So this conference, now we have 2013, is a climax of the year of faith which we began some time ago through the sub-parishes, and now we end it now here, gathering these thousands of youth for this youth conference. Um, we are proud to have this man, Bishop Macaulay. He, first of all, is the first bishop of this diocese. A second, he's a, a pioneer of Holy Cross missionaries in East Africa, and he is a servant of God. So we pray and wish to follow his example that by having these groups devoted to him, we are going to have him. I mean, after being a servant of God, uh, beatified and canonized as a saint of this diocese. A man we follow, a man who has a lot to teach us. So we are proud to have various people who come to our aid during these conferences. People help us with finances, and most of all, we are grateful to the Holy Cross Family Ministry, Kampala, now under the leadership of Father Letikrich Christopher. Last time it was a Father Fred Jenga. They have helped us in teachings about faith, trying to bring the youth together, and how we wish more people would come to our aid to spread this faith together, to bring the realization of Macaulay, his gifts and his contribution to the church here in East Africa. We are grateful and wish that this becomes annually and that Bishop Macaulay Youth Family 
can spread beyond Charusuzi. We have Bishop Makoli youth family Kambala, Bishop Makoli youth family Gulu, Bishop Makoli youth family Kenya, because this bishop served the church in East Africa, in the Kenya, in Tanzania, and all parts of the world. So we are grateful for God who has given us this gift, this man, and the youth you see here are lively and happy to belong to this Bishop Makoli family, which gathers all youth groups, those in groups and those who are not together. So it's our joy and we wish you success. Please pray for us as the youth of this parish that we may move forward and our spirituality may grow towards being with Jesus, who has given us this mission to bring people together, to let the youth and the little children come to him. So aid us and we shall try to help to make sure that this message of Jesus comes a reality in our lives. John. In this conference, I've started the Day Well Health Child at Home, and it has been nice for us. You have enjoyed. <laughs> Christopher Let Preach, Director of Holy Cross Family Ministries, District of East Africa. We have just come out of a very wonderful five-day retreat with the youth of St. Jude 
uh, Catholic parish, Charisozi. Charisozi parish is one of the Holy Cross parishes in uh, East Africa, here in the western part of Uganda, Fokoto, Chenjojo side. We had uh, a group of 850 youth, and uh, the theme of this retreat was Faith without actions is dead. So we guided them through the implications of living the, the faith, and alongside we, thought we, we taught them other important subjects or uh, other important issues that they asked us. For example, about patience, about uh, forgiveness, uh, about uh, resisting evil, and uh, and um, I mean this is what we, this is what we taught, and we concluded by this wonderful topic on faith as we conclude the year of faith. This was a very wonderful time because we have received so many appreciations and responses and you know people are just so happy and they want us to come back here again. We would love to come back here because we see the faith is growing. Uh, the target of the leaders here was to have 1,500 youth but also there are other important uh, programs that were going on. That's why we, the, all that number didn't come. But again, the number that came benefited and we thank God. We talked about uh, Father Petro, Pat, Patron Servant of God. We talked about Our Lady and the importance of praying rosary. Plus again, there were so many, many questions that these young people asked. Um, you will see most of the teachings, clips in the internet and our YouTube and others will be put on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much and God bless you.
And I want to thank you for the gifts that you have planted in each and every one of them. Maybe they do not know them, they do not know how to use them. But I want to ask you that you pour out your Holy Spirit, that you make these gifts come out, that we may glorify your church, we may glorify your name, that your name may be glorified in each and every gift that you have given us. We thank you, Lord, that you are so generous. And I ask you that you, you bless us. Remove all the fear that is holding us back. Remove all the impediments and all those excuses that we have. That, Lord, your church will be set a place by the giftings and the talents that you have given us. And we want to thank you that you are a glorious God. We want to thank you that you are a wonderful God. As we go to sleep, Lord, ask you that you bless us and cover us with your precious blood. Cover us with your precious blood, Lord Jesus. Cover us with your precious blood. We give you glory and honor because you are wonderful and glorious. In Jesus' name, we pray with us, Lord.